Greetings, hello and welcome back guys. Episode number 22 coming at you. I'm Imperial Jedi and our city looks amazing. I honestly just cannot stop staring at it. I'm trying to find like the perfect angle to look at it, but there's just so much to see and do these days. Hard to fit it all in just one shot. I have to go like really, really far away. No, I'm really, I love the layout. I'm, I'm so happy with this. I think just traffic, everything, just we're doing a great job. And I'm just so excited to grow this and just kind of see how it just, you know, how it further develops. But, um, you know, speaking of traffic, we are starting to not get bogged down, but it's getting a little busy kind of in and around this corridor. We've kind of mentioned this a few times now. Um, I've been sitting here thinking about whether or not we should maybe try an upgrade or a change to this area, but I wouldn't necessarily say the engineering is bad or anything. It's just the volume's a little high right now. So I think the best solution to this would be to eventually have a highway connection come through here. Because you can even see by the traffic on the bridge, there's just a whole bunch of people that are, um, you know, basically everyone who lives here is kind of using this one corridor. Not a lot of them are using public transit just yet, or um, or that bridge. So, hopefully what we can do to alleviate a little bit of the traffic here um, is open this up. But in the short run, what I want to try and do is get more people using this highway exit. So I'm going to kind of make a little bridge connection between here and here. Because we have a few, but they're not really, like, I don't know, people aren't really using them as much as I want. So if we can cut back a little bit on traffic going into here, that should help with the six-lane corridor. But um, I'm thinking that's probably the best um, best solution in the long run, the new highway over there. And uh, speaking of that, so our population, we um, just basically have hit the um, this milestone, the 44,000. We are on our way now to 65,000, which is our next tile unlock. So when we get that, we can purchase this area right here. So that's kind of our goal right now. So let's do a little bit of traffic planning, and then let's really... Um, really pump out some new um, neighborhoods here. And I think a six-lane road should fit the bill. What I'm hoping for is just something going across like this. And then I'm going to curve in and just come right at that point there. And I don't know if we still need these wind farms or not. I like this. I think this part here is a little steep, though. I really like this, though. Excellent. Okay, let's try and get that curve just right. Oh, that's a lot better. Oh, interesting enough, we actually do need this connection. Okay, great. And why do we have this spill right into here? Try and get people away from that six lane road. Oh, cool. Can't seem to get that to go straight. That's interesting. There's like weird snap points in and around wherever the, uh, the key wall ends up being. So maybe we can stay a little bit further elevated. There we go. And then same thing over here. Let's try um, doing that in a couple steps. Ooh, much, 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 much better. I'm getting rid of this. Probably won't do another bridge across. And we had someone point out in the comments section, which I completely agree, and I totally didn't even take this into consideration. It's like, why did we cross the river at the widest point? You know, like engineering wise and like, you know, expense wise, that's that seems a little little silly silly in real life, right? I think a real life city, what they would probably do if this were the actual layout, is they would do a river crossing at like the most narrow point. Like obviously they wouldn't have like city boundaries, or maybe they would. Um, they would use a more narrow point, or they would kind of do a little hop skip over the islands. Or just kind of stick to over here. But I, we just did this because the, the um, six lane road. I kind of like it still. Didn't really think too much about it until someone pointed it out. But now that uh, now that you know, I see it, I'm like, oh goodness gracious me, that's all I can think about now. So maybe you guys let me know your thoughts on that. Should we um, maybe re-engineer this? Because what we could do is even take the um, this tram road here and have that one curve through visit the island and then come and connect over here because i've had a lot of requests for something fun over on this island 
And I'm thinking what we could do is maybe like a little, um, I, don't, I don't know, like kind of like a little, I don't want to say like resort, but you would come here just to kind of get away from the city. So we can do like, you know, a little fishing village or something. What kind of assets do we even have here? Like these kind of things, right? So we can do a marina, some tennis courts, a little volleyball, like that kind of stuff. So we're looking just to feel like you're, you know, the cottage kind of feel. That's what I'm going for here. Maybe we can do something like that. But you guys, if you have any suggestions, like totally let me know. We can even do something crazy like a prison island or something like that, like Alcatraz style. Like with this series, I've had a lot of people say too, that's not quite a tutorial series, which is totally fair. But I'm just trying to, you know, build a fun city and just kind of go about my logic and everything as we, um, as we do this. And then, you know, I want input from you guys because, you know, some of you are curious how to build certain things and this and that. So it's kind of why I, I'm going about this the way that I am. I realize it's not necessarily a tutorial in like the traditional sense, but just so that we're on the same, uh, you know, same page or whatever. Okay, a couple more crossings here like that. And we'll check back on this in just a little bit, but I'm, I'm fairly certain this will be a really good addition to the um, to the city. And what I'm trying to do is just cut back on people using this exit. I'm really hoping now that people will start to um, to use this exit over here. But I think we have to let that run just for a little bit longer first. Okay, so off to our population gains right now. I think it'd be nice to have another street come through here on the angle that kind of matches this rose. This one's just not doing it in um, solitude. And maybe we can link up with this road. So I guess we'll need the trees. Let's go out a hint. Go across like this. And then let's go across to the point where we'd have the other street go. So I'd say probably like that. That'd be cool if that lined up, but I, I don't think we're going to, just because that might make that intersection a little bit crowded, especially since this is like the um, you know, the six lane main corridor going through. So let's not disturb the flow of traffic for that. We'll round these two together. Not quite the right angle. We have to go a bit further. Could be enough. It is indeed. Great. I like that too. Just like the look and flow wise. And then we'll have this cross, I think, as a bridge as well. I don't see why not. A little bit tricky here because of the uh, snap points again. So I'm going to try and get some zoning in. We'll go like that. Like this. Bring that across and then connect just like that. Okay, cool. Yeah, I like that visually. That's pretty nice. This should hopefully line up with the pillars. It does not, but I think that's an easy fix. Carve out a little bit of the ground underneath so we can get a road through here. And it's very plausible that um, this little connection that I'm making right now will eventually maybe link to the highway. Oop, I'm going the wrong direction here with the soil. Not that way, please. Try smoothing this out now. Nope, still not enough, but um, I'll worry about that a little bit later. But I'm basically going basically going to leave this um, little forward front little bit here open and I think that's where the highway is eventually going to come in and then we'll make like a little roundabout we'll work with the rails basically so that way we can just make this our little noise pocket I don't think anyone's going to live around here really and I think we need to do a little bit more of a bump to the services in this area I've seen some notifications here Okay, so it's going to be a little bit boxed out over here. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing. But to try and offset that, maybe we can put in some roundabouts or something. And I don't know about that. That's kind of interesting. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, I, hmm, interesting, so that's tram only, do that, definitely not doing that, I 
Oh, did see him again. Opposite. Actually, guys, let me try to leave that little segment here. No, 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 no. Uh, now, this, the only reason why this is happening, in case you guys are curious, is um, uh, because of the key wall going in, sorry, the, uh, not the key wall, the canal, uh, it did a little bit of terraforming, and so it has the visual appearance of this, but really underneath, especially that little bit of the bump right here, it's um, super, super uneven. That's why we're getting the weird. So if a bridge pillar ends up spawning here, that's what's throwing the, um, uh, the ground up. And so what I was trying to do by making these little cuts like this was to change where the bridge node was or a little snap point, and then hopefully that'll make the pillar in a different spot. Then you end up with this look instead, which is what we're going for. And this, I mean, it wasn't necessarily what I was trying to do the whole way for here, but I kind of like this now, this little, this little thing. So we might have that same problem, you can kind of see, yeah. Uh, and then the game's just trying to smooth the um, the bridge out to, to even it, right? But I think it might be too busy going both directions, so let's just leave it like that. Uh, it's just kind of cool, I don't know. Fascinating. But I really want to connect these two. Let's lower this a, a bit. I think that might help. We'll keep a bit of the hill, though. Yeah, that's a lot better. Uh, I'm going to keep that for sure. Okay, so let's... Drop a roundabout or something here. I actually want to bring maybe this in and then we'll round about that. That's, that's, yeah, that's a good idea. It's starting to get a little overload here with the bridges, though. Luckily, that's a nice looking bridge. Okay, so how are we going to get a roundabout to work in here? I think I want. Try and cut out an even section. So we'll just box like this. And then if we cut out that middle part and then just round these, that should be what we're after here. Make sure we're going the right way. And I think that's about yay to yay. No. Nope. And I'm snapping off each time, just, I don't know why, just just in case. Alright, cool! Look at that, symmetrical. That should help a lot too, I think. And then let's put in some more side streets through here. Relatively even. And... No, I think we will cross into that. Again, a little symmetrical on this side, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Symmetrical and boxy kind of kind of feel. And then I want to get rid of some of the traffic lights here, because I think this might be a little a little bit too much. And we'll do that one-way trick. And that's both roads leaving, and then that gets rid of the um, the traffic lights. You can see there's the before with the traffic light. And then we get rid of the traffic light. We're switching the direction. Traffic light goes away, so both roads leading outward. Excellent, but we'll keep traffic lights here. And then what I think we can do is have high density on the outer part like this, and then we'll have low density in the inner part, and that should make kind of a cool little um, looking ring. And really, our population has to go up, so I'm, I'm happy to get some high density down. And then maybe we can explore the option of bringing in a um, uh, a bus route through here, um, but have it come from the central hub, and um, maybe even have a smaller one come through here as well. Start taking advantage of all these little uh, looping uh, around areas. Our passenger pickup drop-off zones, as it were. Okay, so low density in here. I'm going to zone the roundabout, just because it's a little bit more of a residential kind of zone. 
I'd rather just see the area filled in. But then we can do some trees and parks for, for the other spots. And then I was saying I wanted to take advantage, or take advantage, take a, a look at um, uh, the services, so let's do that too. Let's get some shopping in here. And then just for the moment, possible that that could change, but I don't really want zoning right there. Great. Yeah, I definitely need some, some more stuff over here. I think I might try and cool it a bit on the school, just so we don't over-educate everybody. Hmm. No, you know, we'll make a new um, suburb near our industrial zone, because I don't want to have over-educated workers and then end up with problems over here. So we'll keep on the same course over here, so dropping the high school down. With a waterfront view, very nice. A little bit more high density as well. All right, very nice. Okay, services. If that fits, it does. Put that right here. Oh, I love that. As long as we don't have one nearby. Good. Sometimes I forget what we uh, what we put and where it is. Well, that's frustrating. Those tiles don't want to line up. You know what, though? I think we can change that by... Sneaky, sneaky. I think we can. No, nope, I guess I can't. It's weird. Um, let me redraw that. It's a little bit odd. There we go. I think the little snap point in the middle got kind of kind of strange out there. So I'm gonna unzone this. We'll keep keep it open next to the hospital, and then I think we're gonna do the same thing up here. We'll just end up cutting this off. Perfect, and then we'll unzone in here. And then we'll see what it looks like when it fills in, but most likely we'll do um, kind of a custom kind of park feel for that spot there. And I think just maybe encourage a little bit of zoning. I'm actually going to put in a little itty bitty um, office block right here. Listening to the classics, the city's home for the hits from the 80s, 90s, and onward. Seven, there we go. 80s, 80s, 90s, I'll be playing some less Don't want to neglect our water. Perfect. Well, hopefully that zones. Let's put in some more services. We definitely could use some more fire coverage over here. And I think we're okay for police. It looks like we have two police stations, but they don't really have the best of coverage. But, I mean, really, our crime rate, or crime, crime rate sorry, is so low that it's, you know, I, I wouldn't stress. Oh, let's forget about death care. Okay, we have a crematorium, but I, I just feel like the coverage is not really all that spectacular over here for some reason. I wonder if that's just the way we've done our layouts. Right across from the hospital is a little morbid. Or if that's, um, you know... I don't know, maybe just, uh, yeah, maybe the roads or something, I don't know. Or just the coverage in my mind was a little bit better, I guess, than uh, in actuality. Alright, so this is filling in um, the power, because it hasn't made its way across, all these people are probably going to move out, so let's just go ahead and do a little connection, even if it's just temporary. I'm trying to minimize our impact on the uh, on the zoning squares here all right well let's um let's take a look at buses now I was thinking of having one 
come from here. We already have that one going up to the um, to the station, uh, to the university, sorry. But maybe we can just have one that goes through the whole neighborhood here. Um, let's try something. A little, little neighborhood bus line here. Stop to the hospital. Encourage some line sharing too with some of these other uh, other guys. And we'll stop off near here. Can I even get to this road? Oh, perfect. So there's some line sharing happening with that other one. Close enough that you can just hop over to the subway now. Great, and then what we'll do is we'll put the opposite line just on the other side of the street. So that way, once you're up here, you're less likely to use your car. So now you can just kind of cruise around a little bit more efficiently. So all this is in an effort to um, uh, minimize traffic. So we're at the point now where even if we were to like, you know, overhaul a lot of the streets, we really wouldn't see that much of an improvement to traffic. It's more like we got to start relying on public transit. So our population, you know, it's 50,000 plus now. We're like, we're like a real city. Let's change, um, change those color line. Oh, black, silly. Okay, cool. So yeah, a little bit too much traffic in my mind still through here. But hopefully with addition of this bus line, that'll help. And I wonder if we can see how many people are even using the um, the metro over here. Where are you? Uh, oh, there it is. Um, wait, no, that's not it. There it is. Yes, yes, yes. Um, uh, 356, that's not so bad. Visually, it looks like there's a lot more people over here using transit, but... I just think all these people here would be in their cars, theoretically. I'm sure some of them would be walking and biking, but a lot of them would be in cars. So we're definitely doing something right over here. I think this area would be totally bogged down with gridlock otherwise. Okay, so let's take a look over here and see if... Um, yeah, there's a little bit of an impact reduction. See, some people are using this. Not as much as I had hoped, though, unfortunately. Because what I was thinking we could possibly do would be to convert this into a dumbbell interchange. And uh, what that would basically be for this area is... Um, we would get rid of these arms just temporarily um, so delete that we'd put a roundabout right here roundabout right here connect everybody back up again and then reconnect the arms to the roundabout and then what that would do is get rid of the traffic light so you'd have continuous flow on both sides and then that would hopefully just get more people into the highway and then out of the city so you can see we just have this really long backlog of people wanting to turn left onto this road here and I wonder if we maybe add another lane into this, um, if that would possibly um, help. So let's move this down a hint. That way you get two lanes turning left and then one lane turning right. I don't think you necessarily have this per se in like real life. I think these would probably scale down to two lanes like that hypothetically. But you can see we lose that extra lane here. So I don't know if that would, um, you know, that would work in the game. We probably would need some mods for that. So let's try with how, you know with the three lanes like this. See if we can get people to now queue in both lanes instead of just the one, which should help reduce this um, backlog. The only downside is you end up with a lot of people. Yeah, no, you know what though? That probably won't work unless, oh no, it does, beautiful. I'm trying to look at the lane arrows. If this one becomes a right hand only turning lane, no, people can go straight here as well. So I'm going to try something. I'm going to scale this down by one lane, and that's going to force this lane here to now become a permanent turning lane. So people can now turn comfortably from here, knowing that no one's going to be going straight out of this one. So I think we just accomplished what I was trying to do. 
and I'm not really worried about losing one extra lane here, just because our flow of traffic going this way isn't so bad. It's just past the highway that becomes the issue. And so this is our, yeah, I think really the dumbbell interchange is probably the best way. But this little tip like this, you know, use this in your own cities, guys. Like we're going from a six lane to a four lane here, and we're forcing this left lane now to become a turning lane. And we're getting extra turning because we're using the three lanes here. You'd think we would use the two lanes only, but that, that just wouldn't work, unfortunately. Sometimes the game mechanics are a little bit bizarro. And then the same thing would happen here. If I add a third lane because of the weird game mechanics, everyone would just pile one lane over, which is why we're not doing that. In case you guys are curious. But I think that's, yeah, I think that helps a little bit. Every little bit is, every little bit counts, right? But yeah, really the, uh, the long-term goal, though, would be to open up a new um, interchange here bring people in and then have them uh, come across. Um, looks like we're a little bit low on water. It looks like uh, we do have enough, but because we have separate pumps working for our waterfall system, this is actually not a true reflection of our, um, our water intake. So let's just put another pump down. These are for also the, um, another waterfall. Apparently we like waterfalls in this city. This one I will connect to our network. As long as it's getting power, it is. Should be enough to help our friends over here. Great. Great, 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 great. Okay, well, let's uh, just do a little bit more zoning. So our population still needs a bit more of a push. Just a hint more. So let's cross, uh, cross the street here. Starting a little bit close to uh, some noisemakers. As in the trains. So we'll probably have a, a wall of commercial or some offices. I wouldn't mind having something line up with this. I don't think we can get another intersection through here, nor should we. What we could theoretically do, though, is have the tram cut through on the angle here, move the stops a little bit back. Uh, let's try that, actually. Yeah, let's try that. Why not, right? So we'll pull... Pull our stops back. Can I do that even? Yeah, there we go. We're pulling these stops back. Great. This will be a lot easier because we don't have any trams in there yet. Sorry, one of these is for trams. And so we're taking our tram track. We're going on this angle now to here. So that works. You cut in like that. Cool. And then what I'm hoping for is to sneak another road through here. I think it's going to be a smaller road. Hmm. Easier said than done, apparently. Oh, there we go. Yep, that's exactly what I'm after. And that means we'll scale this down a little bit. Keep the boxy kind of shape going too. I'm not really against that. We will just have the avenues, I think, end just in like this. We probably should cross. So why don't I love that? Oh my goodness, I don't know what it is. It's just so nice. I actually have a little more space than I thought over in this side. That's <laughs> so cool. Very, very, very cool. All right, I'm not going to put another intersection in here. This is getting a little bit too busy right there. Instead, I'm going to go uh, just into this. Let's just get a little bit more use out of the zoning squares. Cool. I feel like this is not even. Oh, those aren't even, that's why. That makes sense. Actually, you know what we'll do? 
is we'll uh, keep the um, uh, commercial in this spot here. We'll keep it low density. And um, I've had a few people ask, and I, I've probably mentioned it before, but I'll say it again. Um, I don't normally use too much high density commercial. So I feel like it does create an awful lot of noise, just, just for, I don't know, unnecessarily. You don't really get that much more of a commercial kind of benefit to it. But we'll put a little bit down here to help with the demand. But just in general, in case you guys are kind of curious. I do have, it's one of the most reoccurring questions, I think. And I do really like the look and the variety of the um, uh, lower density commercial buildings versus the high density ones. Okay, I don't want to put a, um, an incinerator in here, but we obviously need some kind of um, uh, garbage pickup. So you know what, just until we buy the next tile square, I'm going to put one over here just to make sure that no one moves out. But what I'm thinking that we'll probably end up doing is wherever the highway interchange it ends up becoming, um, we'll move some of the trees out. Then we can have a little bit of utilities. So we'll have some garbage pickup, like some police, like that kind of stuff too. And that should yeah help kind of keep everyone happy in this neighborhood. So we don't want people moving out. That'll be counterproductive. But I think we've done a good thing here, guys. Population is moving. We're almost at our next tile square. This area looks fantastic. I mean... Just a few episodes ago, we just broke uh, broke ground for the first time over here, right? Now look at this. We've got all these cool high-density neighborhoods. Definitely happening. All right, well, friends, I think we're going to um, end off the episode here. So thanks for hanging out, guys. Try and get the next one out as soon as I can. A little bit of a busy uh, week coming up for me. And just remember, guys, mark off your calendars. Um, May 18th, we're doing the uh, launch party for um, uh, Mass Transit. So it'll be a 12-hour uh, stream on Twitch. And that's uh, twitch.tv slash Imperial Jedi. And I'll be starting around 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and going all the way to midnight. Just a little bit of a, kind of a dinner break somewhere in between. But yeah, it'll be kind of fun. So I'm playing uh, City Skylines with uh, one of my friends. We're going to start on the same map and just build an entirely different city. And we'll just kind of share the um, share the thought process, you know, have some fun. Kind of read each other's chats and that kind of stuff too. So I think this is a lot, a lot better. So it's still pretty busy, but it's moving faster. So that makes me happy. All right, guys. Well, we'll tackle some more traffic as the city grows. We definitely have a lot of ideas in our, um, you know, in our inventory. That whole, you know, six lane and two lane kind of thing. Those kind of tricks. We'll use a lot more of those. And yeah, I'm excited to kind of grow the city. All right, guys. That's it. See you in the next one. Looking forward to the comments, as always. Sorry I'm a little bit slow to respond to some of them, but I do read them all. It's just there's so many that come in these days. But yeah, let me know your thoughts for sure, guys. Especially about the island here. Where do we end up putting, uh, you know, that spot? All right, guys, take care of yourselves. Happy building. All the best. See you in the next one.